Now I want to introduce a super inspiring young man. We're going to have a little video of him first, and then we're going to give him some stage time. Jeremiah Jones, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeremiah Jones, but you probably know me as I am Jay Youngin. Lots of people know me for my motivational talks, clothing brand, positive works in various communities, and my nonprofit organization. Be a leader, not a follower. Everyone say that. Be a leader, not a follower. What does that make you feel like? That makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I did what I was supposed to do. But now I want to welcome you to my new venture, music. And living young, let me hear you say, hey, yeah, yeah. puts the public in a better position where we can identify and relate to one another because both community works and music are universal and so am I now booking I'm Jay Youngin aka the Cabbage Kid school tours shows and appearances thank you John can I get you to come up What are we doing? All right, so I know you guys are looking at my hoodie like, what is that? What do you have going on? So this is one of the new designs that I just recently dropped called Make School Safe Again. My little brother is the brains behind this idea. He said, Jeremiah, what are you going to be wearing to your keynote talk? I said, I don't know. So he came up with this, Make School Safe Again. Not only am I wearing this to show support to my brother, but I'm wearing this to show support to the kids that lost their lives in the school shooting. And I really want to embrace it and let you guys know I want to let you guys know that this is something serious, and it's just not something that we should just bypass and just let it go. But I want to present this to you, John. A t I know probably it's not an award, but it's, a, it's the T-shirt. I like some safe schools. And before I start my talk, I'm going to get going with some positive energy. That's just how I feed off of everything, like law of attraction. So I'm going to say energy. And after I say that, I want everybody to repeat it. Can we do that? All right. One, two, three, energy! energy. All right, come on, y'all can do way better than that. When I say, hold on, I'm gonna get this one from my Instagram. When I say energy, you guys need to scream it back. What up with it, y'all? We here at the event, energy. energy! See, that's what I'm talking about. Let me set this right here. All right, now we're gonna do something different. We got a couple t-shirts that I wanna throw out to the crowd. Whichever side makes the most noise, I'm just going to throw it to your direction. And John, yeah, help me out. All right, just start screaming. Let me hear it. Oh, he said throw his. All right, one more, one more. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, my name is Jeremiah Jones, also known as Jay Youngin. I'm a 17 year entrepreneur, motivational speaker, 501c3 nonprofit organization owner, and I'm also a music artist. Back when I was eight years old, I had the vision to have my own clothing brand called Jay Youngin and Company. And when I, when I first started my clothing brand, a lot of people said that I was, I was operating my clothing brand like a nonprofit. I started to get booked for motivational talks and doing events. So me and my team, we took it into consideration and said maybe we should, maybe we should turn this into a 501c3. And sure enough, we did. My 501c3 focuses on academic sports and academics. Ac sorry about that. Oh my gosh, I'm just too excited. My bad. It focuses on academic sports and leadership, seeking to build partnerships, and not only that, but to embrace my own peers and let them know that they can do anything in life that's possible. I know some of you guys are here asking yourself, well, Jeremiah, we know you have your own clothing brand, we know you're doing this, we know you're doing that, but what is the vision? And the vision is to inspire and motivate teenagers and young people with my peer group or age demographic. And I don't want to just stop here. I know mostly everybody in the crowd is older than me and is educators and adults. I want to be able to motivate you guys too. I want to let you guys know that if you want to do something in life, you can do it as long as you put your mind to it. Because when I was eight years old and first started my clothing brand, 
a lot of people try to discourage me and tell me, you know, you're a liar. You don't really have this. You, you don't have that. You can't achieve this. You can't achieve that. But, I mean, look at me now. And I just really want to just stay humble while I'm doing all my walks of life and encouraging everybody. You have to think outside the box. I want you guys to be creative. Get out of your comfort zone. Because when I was eight years old, I wanted to do acting. I wanted to do dance. I wanted to do sports. But I never stick with none of those. So with me getting out of my comfort zone and really trying to find my passion, I really had to think, what is it I can do? So when I came up with the idea to have my own clothing brand, I went to my dad. And sure enough, he was shocked more than I was because an eight-year-old going to an adult or your parent asking, asking for help to start a clothing brand isn't normal, in my opinion. I don't know too many eight-year-olds that start uh, clothing brands. But you have to think outside the box and go beyond. Don't limit yourself to one thing and feel, and feel content. Yeah, you can be content with certain things, but know that you could push to the extraordinary. In 2009, to speed it up, 2009, I launched my online website along with my rewards program. My rewards program focuses on academic sports and leadership to motivate and acknowledge students and athletes for their great accomplishments. And what made me do that is there's so many kids, so many teens doing positive works, and they don't have nobody acknowledging them. They don't have nobody giving them that extra push to say, you know, I see what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Keep, keep going at it. So I wanted to start my own rewards program where I go out and I have my own positive achiever awards where we gave back 75% of our own profits because I believed in it that much. I believe that my own peers, my own teens, they should be able to feel and be motivated to keep going because what is it like doing something so great and positive with nobody else acknowledging it or nobody else saying, I see what you're doing? I just partnered with the Long Beach Housing Projects in, uh, on the north side of Long Beach. And basically what I'll be doing there is having my own mentoring program, editing courses, teaching them how to silk screen and do different things like that just to get more engaged. And I feel like that's really important. And I don't want you guys to wait after the, after the event to come talk to me to try to partner. You guys can partner with me today. All you have to do is go to my website, jyoungin.org. That's J-Y-O-U-N-G-I-N.org. Slide all the way up. It's going to be the donations page. Just imagine everybody here donating $5 or $10 to my nonprofit. Just think about it. That will make a major difference with me going out to reward and expand my rewards program throughout various communities and schools. I know I stated earlier, find your passion. But when you find your passion, you want to find something that pushes you. Find something you love doing and find something that's going to drive you. Once you find your passion, you want to learn it. After you learn it, I want you guys to perfect it. And once you perfect it, you want to learn how to utilize it so you can start helping others around you. Because not only are you going to help yourself with that passion, but you're going to be helping people around you. Find something that pushes you and you love doing because you don't want to be waking up every morning doing something that you don't want to do because then it's going to feel like work. And I know you guys heard this millions of times. Find something you love to do because it won't feel like work. But I'm sorry, but it's true because what I'm doing right now, I don't feel like I'm working. I feel like I'm interacting with you guys. I know some of you guys are like a 17-year-old. Like, is he really going to help? But I'm trying to help you guys. You guys are all educators, right? I say you guys are all educators, right? Right. You should be proud of that. That's really your passion and what you want to do. And I really want to encourage you guys to be more hands-on with, with the students, be more hands-on with my own peers, and let them know that they have that support system. They have the extra push that they need. Also want to say, don't change for others. Remain doing you. Don't be ashamed to be different. Push your creativity. Because if you're remaining to be, if you're remaining to be the same as everybody else, that means you're going to fit in. You're not going to stand out. So when you push your creativity, when you push your creativity to be different, that means you're going to stand out and people are going to start to notice you. And I want you to stay focused and don't lose track on your goal. Because when you stay focused, that means you're going to be aligned and you're going to know exactly what you want to do. Before I finish up, I just want to say, you know, I get booked for all these type of events to, com to come out and talk. And, you know, it's cool and everything, but it's like, what's the benefit out of it? 
And with this one, I really want to utilize it. I really want to build partnerships. I really want to grow with people. I want to expand my rewards program and, I'm, and my nonprofit. This is the year that I want people to know who I am so I have that platform to give back. So I have that platform to go open up a facility for everyone in the community. So I have my own mentoring program. So I have my own still screening. Teach them how to record music. Everything that's my passion, I want to be able to teach others. My time is running up, but the last thing I want to leave you guys with the sky is not the limit. It's just the view. And we can go beyond that. And be sure to check out my website at jyoungin.org, J-Y-O-U and jyoungin.org. Thank you. <laughs> this is one of the new designs that I just recently dropped called Make School Safe Again. My little brother is the brains behind this idea. He came up with this, Make School Safe Again. Not only am I wearing this to show support to my brother, but I wanted this to show support to the kids that lost their lives in the school shooting. And I really want to embrace it and let you guys know. I want to let you guys know that this is something serious and it's just not something that we should just bypass and just let it go.